Flip me, it's been a while since I sat here. I'm getting that out of the way. If you're here, you are wanting to find out about the conversion course, the master's course at Queen's, and I get it. I wanted to know, and I didn't have anybody to ask, apart from people who had done the course. So it did have people ask. I don't know what, but if you don't know anyone, this is useful. So I'm just gonna basically talk through how the whole year went, what I thought about it. Probably should have written down in a book what I should talk about. I just don't even care right now. I have done it, I'm finished, I'm just gonna help you out as much as I can. Let's start off with how the course started. If you haven't seen the first video, you should probably go watch that. That's me at the start of the course. This is me at the end of the course, so it's a process. Go watch it first, it makes sense. But when I first started the course, didn't know a thing. My friend told me to go on to Code Academy and practice a bit of stuff there. So I went on and played about with Java and I learned what an int was and a string and I was like, this is boring the life out of me, I don't want to do it. But that was because I was teaching myself. So I left it and was like, screw it. I'll be fine. Day one, go in. Awkward, you know, you gotta try and find some friends, but plonk yourself down beside somebody, just chat some shit. You do a lot of group projects, so you're not gonna be on your own the whole time. Don't worry about it, you can help each other out. But yeah, they teach it very well, like in a really easy way. Like, it's like you're learning to count or something. Like, if you have no background, they're gonna be like, this is an int. An int is a number. And you'll be like, okay, then they'll be like, this is a string. A string writes a sentence or anything like that. You'll understand what I'm talking about if you've looked it up or you're gonna start it, but the first week you're like, okay, this isn't too bad. And it keeps like each week you're learning something new. So you do need to keep on top of it. If you fall behind and you're learning something new, you're gonna need to know this for this. Yes, you can sit in the lectures, copy what he's doing, but you're not gonna get it. And coding is something you need to understand. You just, it's like miles, it works or it doesn't work. So. so stay on top of it, but you'll work through and you'll just keep learning week by week. It's a fast pace and it is intense, but it's doable if you stick on top of it. I did it and I am a lazy person. I put a lot of work in this year, but I managed to do it. From the very start, baby steps. Then you'll get your first assignment. You'll get group project assignments. You'll get solo assignments. First semester, you have three modules. I had programming, testing. I actually can't even remember who taught me. The who the bloody hell taught me? So I'll be programming in both semesters. You'll study testing in the first semester, which is brutal. I'm just gonna, it's just brutal. Testing, you'll have two group projects, which suck again, but you get to know people. You have to hang out with them to do the work. So that's good. And that helps for later down the line when you guys wanna help each other out. Bing, perfect. I can't believe I can't remember what the hell. Databases, boom. Databases with Neil, he's a legend. You'll like him. He's, his voice is so soothing. He can actually put you to sleep. It'll start as like a group project working together, but then you go off and you have to build a database yourself, which seems like a big task and hard to do, but realistically, everyone's gonna turn out very close to similar to each other. So help each other out. Don't copy each other, but help each other out. So by the end of second semester, you'll have done two testing assignments and they're both group projects. One you hand in, done. Second one you hand in and do a presentation on. With programming, you will have two class tests. The entire programming module is marked on like class tests. You do five class tests. That might change for you this year, I don't know. And testing as well, sorry, I forgot. You'll have a exam on it, or I guess call it class test, after Christmas. So you'll go away for Christmas and then learn testing for a bit. So it's 30%, I think it's worth, and the other 70% is obviously your coursework. Database is 100% coursework, manageable, and you do a presentation, which isn't really marked at the end. So you don't, I think you do need to do it, but. So you'll get you to Christmas, take a big break Christmas. I didn't touch anything, literally nothing. I came back, I was like, I probably should have done something, but it goes back to you. And I'll also give you, then we started learning methods and I didn't understand a method. If you get to the point in the course, you'll be like, okay, method, I know what he's talking about. You might already know, but I just didn't understand it. And I was like, I can't do this. It's doing my head in. Next week, we're going to be learning something new. I'm going to fall behind. But once you get the methods, even if it takes you two weeks to learn it, don't worry. Like it'll click and then everything else just sort of works with methods and in there. So just trust me, it will come. I'll tell you, it's going to, it'll come. So let's say Christmas is over. You've done your testing class test. You're going to start second semester. Second semester, you will have programming again with Aiden. Forgot to say, he's course director, top lab. You'll have web dev, which is with John and again, nice guy and software engineering with Ian. Ian was my project advisor for my dissertation. He was great. When you do software engineering, I guarantee you like, this sucks. I hate this. I didn't enjoy it, but having him as an advisor, he was really good. So I recommend him. He's good. So breakdown of those things. Programming, you're going to have three class tests, maybe less this year and waited more. I don't know. We had three class tests. First one was okay. Second one was hard enough. And the third one I found was deadly. I just past it. But overall in the programming module, I got like 52% and I knew that that was gonna be my weakest, but 50% to pass. Like some people failed it, but majority of people will pass it unless you're not 
putting the work in, obviously. Then software engineering is kind of you build a game. So what you've learned in the coding in your first semester and still learning in second semester, you'll apply that to an assignment, which is a group project of four people and you build a game. So you submit that group project and then you have your class test. There are 12 weeks in a semester. I think you do that in week 12 and it's 30% again. If you learn this stuff, you'll smash it. Like it's just, and I got 67%, I think in that module, which I was happy with. Testing, I got like 67. Web dev, I think I got 59 maybe. First try for web dev, what do you do? There is like a test four, I think maybe. It's really basic, but it's worth 20%. I think, and you basically build a very basic front end website, but it's quite fun. Web dev is my, my favorite stuff, more creative, but I enjoyed it. And then you have a big assignment, just basically you build a functional website like and it's it's intense when you get finished first semester, you're like, that was tough. Second semester, like, oh my God, the last like four weeks was pretty brutal. One week I had a test, the next week I had an assignment due, next week I had a test, next week I had my web dev. Assignment due, and everybody, but everybody feels the stress. Bloody tough, man. I'm telling you, it's tough. Just put the work in. You'll get there. You'll finish semester two. Take a break again. It's Easter time. I took three weeks off and did jack sh. I did nothing. Probably should have, but just couldn't be arsed. You'll have already met with your advisor and chosen your project at this stage. Basically, go meet them and be like, what the hell am I going to do here? Or how do I approach this? And they'll give you an idea. And then you're just going to basically spend your summer building your project. And no, it's not fun. I don't know anyone who's found it fun at all. I hated it. At the start, I was like, oh, this isn't bad, but you just spend so much time on it. I had to go to the doctor to get vitamin D tablets because I wasn't getting enough sunlight because I've been sitting in this room coding so much. So I'm just warning you, like, get outside, get some fresh air because you can very easily get stuck in here. The time I'm recording this, I've literally just submitted my dissertation, my website, all my code. So it's done. So I have gone from whatever the start date was, I think it was like the 22nd September, all the way through the 2nd of August. In that time, I've been working and learning the entire time. And the only times I've had breaks are Christmas for three weeks and three weeks at Easter. I've been pretty nonstop otherwise. I had a guy ask me about part-time job. I worked one day a week the entire time through this thing and that was more than enough. I, at one point I considered quitting. I was like, I might just not work it. But I needed money, but a lot of people did the course. They, they didn't have a job. They just did the course. If you can afford to not have a job, highly advise it. You'll probably do better in the course, but I couldn't. And I needed some sort of money, so I, I lived off like 250 quid a month. I'm living at home, but still, pretty brutal. Sport, he also asked me about sport. Like, I'm, I play hockey at a good level, and I'm training twice a week, and a match on Saturday, so that also takes a lot of time, but you need, you need sh to do. I'm telling you, like, you can't sit and be coding flat out. You'll literally go nuts, so that was a good stress reliever for me. But yeah, apart from that, I'm trying to think. <sighs> I was just trying to break it down in there really quickly, what it was like. Summarize it a lot. Don't be scared by it. You'll get it done. You Unless you, if you don't apply yourself, you won't. But if you apply yourself, you'll get it done. Plenty of help. Everything, there's lectures and all are online. You've got plenty of material to use. Don't worry if you don't know any coding. I knew absolutely nothing. And as I said, I went on a website for a week and I was like, I can't be arsed with this. But once I started actually learning it, there being taught, it was a bit more fun and it made more sense. So don't worry about that. Don't get scared. You'll do it. You'll get your timetable. You'll see all your assignments. Be like, let me. But again, you'll get it done. When you go in, you'll get your first group project and you'll set with your group. They let you choose your own group. So be wise in who you sit with in the first like week. You sit down with someone who's an absolute moron or a dickhead. Try to go talk to someone else because you're probably going to end up spending the majority of the year with them. I sat down with a few guys once and I was like, oh. And then the next day I came in and sat with another group of people and I was like, oh, these guys are cool. So I hung out with them and then they were like, right guys, group project. You need to pick some eight people. And I was like, well, I like these guys too. So I set up a group. I got a few other people to join. Had a good group and we just hung out the whole time. You like the old time, you'll sit around. You might bump into another group, but it tends to be very groupy. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm telling you now, that's exactly how it's going to be, but just go for it. Enjoy it. It's a decent career line, plenty of jobs. You'll get a job. I say that before I've even got one, but I haven't bothered applying yet. Loads of people have already got jobs. I'm not applying until they get back from Canada. If you're watching this way down the line, um, I'll probably have uploaded my Canada trip video or vlogs and stuff, so go check out my Canada trip. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to split here because I'm starving. Done. I'm, I actually, I might just get a beer. It's like four o'clock and I might just go get a beer. I freaking deserved it, all right? I earned this beer. But yeah, if this was helpful, you know what to do. Just get a thumbs up. I'm doing this to help you if you've, if you've searched this video because I know I was looking for it. So let me know or just comment. Uh, and if there's anything else you need to know, comment down below and I'll get back to you like I replied to everyone. So, and yeah, if you've already signed up and you're just, don't let what I've said scare you. Um, honestly, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll get there, but just put the work in. This is a long video. I can't be arsing. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching and good luck. You'll be fine. And let me know how you get on. Let me know if you watched this video and then you went and did the course. 
and finished it and got first running. If I helped you make that wee split decision of doing it, that'd be cool. I do covers and stuff, subscribe. I upload content regularly here. Regularly. Regularly? Regularly. I upload content regularly here. Regularly. Regularly here. So subscribe if you want to see it. It was great, guys. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.